One of the things that has been on the back burner for a while is creating my own lore project. And I really think now is the perfect time to dip my toe in a little bit and see how I can do it. So what exactly have I come up with? Stay tuned to find out. Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? So the idea of creating my own lore came about because I got to the point where painting models really did start to become just a little bit disappointing. And I say that in a way that, you know, I love painting models. You can take this great piece of plastic, you can paint it and it really makes it come to life a little bit. But then what happens to it? It gets stored nicely into a container and hidden into the decks of storage. So what I'm wanting to start doing now is to take it a little step further than just painting and breathe more life into what I'm creating. So the plan is now that I'm going to start doing something called narrative builds. This is where instead of just building and painting models, I'm going to create a story or lore that backs them up. It could be a unit of soldiers fighting against a monster, a few models, or in this case it could be about two armies getting ready for a fight. And this is the reason why I recently did an unboxing video of the very first Age of Sigmar starter box. It's these two armies that are going to be part of my first narrative build. And as for the story, well I let this video show that. Vandis Hammerhand, the Lord Celestine of the Hammers of Sigmar, has travelled to the realm of Gur to report on the city of Fair Farig's Stormhost. The city was home to the coastal knights of Sigmar, and the Stormhost was still in its infancy and welcomed the arrival of Vandis to help bolster their ranks. Fair Farig is a thriving city located along the east coast of Gur and has become well renowned for its hunting grounds, treasures, and trading markets. Hunters, adventurers and merchants travel long distances to reach its shores and only the most hardened sailors can successfully travel Gur's dangerous seas, making their merchandise in high demand. But with the city growing fast and expanding rapidly, trouble lies not too far behind and the city's troubles were slowly rising. With Hammerhand arriving in Gur, an old enemy was setting his sights on revenge. Corgus Kull had felt defeat by a Hammerhand before but now he was heading towards Fair Farg with a new bunch of recruits. These hardened veterans had been fighting in the realm of life against Alariel's forces, and Cull needed his most experienced warriors to reach victory this time. But Cull was all too familiar with Hammerhand. Although never admitting it, he knew he is as strong as they come, physically and tactically. Cull needed an ambush that Vandis couldn't even predict to turn the tide in his favour. Cull had visited one of the oldest slaughter priests in Ashi, whose power had been renowned for his summoning. Kull's bloodshed had met him a favour of Khorne, and he gifted him with powers beyond he could have ever wished for. But now with the help of this slaughter priest, Kull was ready to go further than he had ever before. The city's scouts had delivered news of Kull's arrival. Vandis had gathered the coastal knights at the city's gates and prepared for the oncoming battle. The battle at Fair Farig. So over the next few months my goal is to paint up both armies and build up the lore. Then continue building up the lore again with a couple of more future projects. But one thing I'm wanting to make really clear is that this project is open to other people's ideas, input and feedback is always essential. So if you're wanting to be part of this project then leave your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about it. But with all that said, the first video of this series is being dropped right now which is the painting of the guy that started all this, Vandis Hammerhand. So if you guys like this make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't, drop a comment below and once again Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.